Today we're talking about the high cost of mobile roaming and what we're doing to address it. The joys of a busy airport, right? And you, planning a trip soon? Well, before we take off, what do we always check for? Our wallet, our passport, and our phone. And it's only when we can't find our phone that true panic sets in. It's a tool we can no longer live without. Mobile is everywhere. It's become a sort of extension of our social selves, vital for individual survival, businesses, and society as a whole. Smartphones and tablets are revolutionizing the way we live, learn, socialize, and travel. It's hard to keep up with all the new offerings coming out from mobile operators, over-the-top players, and VNOs. Voice and data roaming are indispensable to any service today, and to any consumer. But still, we as consumers remain confused. Sometimes we're even scared of using our phones when traveling. Because when we plan our next trip, we now have to worry about how much it's going to cost us. And in many places, it's going to cost a lot. So what happens? Mobiles get turned off, alternatives are sought like Wi-Fi hotspots and chat services. To add to this, high roaming prices stifle the development of even richer applications over M2M, NFC, LTE, the Internet of Things. Regulators the world over are grappling with this issue. The European Commission has been extremely active, but nonetheless the perception remains that roaming is a luxury to be used with caution. And this seriously affects the bottom line of mobile operators. Something needs to be done, and it needs to be done now. In a digital world without borders, any dialogue, any action must be global. So we come to you then from Geneva, where the International Telecommunication Union is working on solving this issue. The UN agency's mission is to extend the benefits of communications to everyone, everywhere. For decades, it's been the one neutral forum where key financial and economic decisions for international telecoms are made. Its study group three on standards is working towards setting rates for services that are as low as possible for an efficient service. Its decisions are always based on global consensus. So what have you missed so far? Well, in 2012, the international community, through Study Group 3, approved the first ever global public-private agreement of its kind on mobile roaming. It's called the ITUT D98 standard. And since then, the ITU has been called upon by regulators and industry alike to continue its groundbreaking work on setting standards for roaming. Over the next few months, we will be evaluating bottom-up cost models for roaming both regionally and globally. So whether you're a regulator, a mobile operator, or a new player on the market, don't miss out on this unique opportunity to make your voice heard. Shape the future of mobile roaming and shape the rules that will govern your business. At ITU, you'll rub shoulders with policymakers, business leaders, and innovators. So come on, join us in Geneva and be part of it.